Tracy, you've been both. Why don't you tell us about your uh, your work as a consultant, uh, consulting expert versus testifying expert? Right. Well, like you mentioned, the consulting expert is sort of covered under the attorney work product. So basically, the attorney is hiring me to help him or her analyze the financial documents, maybe come up with some strategy, come up with some opinions that might be helpful in the litigation, but the other side's not going to know that I'm involved. When I cross over into a testifying expert, that's where I'm being disclosed to the court. My file is going to be discoverable, so everything I've got in it is going to potentially be seen by the other side. Um, sometimes I start a case as a consulting expert and I eventually become the testifying expert. Sometimes I'm brought into a case in one role or the other and there'll never be any overlap. But the key in my work is that I'm always very careful about how I maintain my files, no matter what my title is, consultant or testifying expert, because I never know when my materials will become discoverable. So I may go into a case being a consulting expert, and I may think my materials are not currently discoverable, but something could happen in the case to cause them to become discoverable. So I want to be real careful with how I maintain my files, having the understanding that maybe someone else in the case will see my, my work at some point.